Hey everybody, a little uh, another using Emacs video, a quick hit. It's actually not doing, I'm not going to show you any actual Emacs here today. Um, it's actually just going to be um, how awesome org is in yet another way. And I'm not even going to really show you much about org mode for that. Um, so, well, let's see, let's see how you like it. So, um, in one of the classes I'm teaching, the students do a daily lab. And um, the daily lab is, um, not daily lab, a weekly lab. It's just a programming assignment and that they have to do it um, you know, in class live and work through it. Um, and it's actually been very helpful. Um, before they had this lab, the failure rate was much higher uh, in this class uh, since they put it in a few years ago prior to my coming to Hunter. Um, but the thing is that the person or the people who prepare the labs, they prepare them for the general population and I'm teaching um, my honor students. And so, um, so my labs are a little bit different. They're a little bit different because I'm having the kids, the students, one is they, they put everything up to GitHub. Um, they also, um, they already are familiar with functions, um, how to do separate compilation with make files. We're going to be doing a testing framework next week. Um, so it's a little bit different. So I have to take the lab and I have to then make changes to it. The problem is, and then I have to get it to the students, um, the problem is that the labs always come as an HTML file. So the lab that's coming up this week, I'm not going to show the actual lab here, or at least much of it, but it's um, it's dealing with data from the New York City data mine. So you can see there's all this stuff here, and it's uh, the Ashokan Reservoir um, up in Ulster County, and this is cool. I like, uh, I love, love this picture. Um, this is where uh, Catskills Conf is, my favorite conference of the year, and we were all up there earlier in the year, staying at the Ashokan Center, um, you know, right up on the Ashokan Reservoir, and it, it's really, you know, really, it was an it's an amazing weekend, and it's an amazing place, you know, uh, maybe someday I will be, be fortunate enough to actually get a place up there, be able to spend some time living up there, who knows, but anyway, um, so this comes in, and if I want to change this, this is going to be a real bear, so if I go to Emacs here, and... You know, if I try to edit this, you know, I, uh, this is a mess. This is, you know, this is really, really, you know, so it's an HTML file. You know, you can edit this, but it's going to be really ugly and really, 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 really annoying. Um, fortunately, there's a cool, cool tool called And um, Pandoc basically converts all sorts of file formats from one to another, and um, we can use it on um, we can use it on our HTML file. So if I just install Pandoc, so I just app get install Pandoc, Pandoc, my output is going to be lab3.org. The I guess the input file format is going to be HTML. The output is org. Boom, and all of a sudden I have lab3.org. So now let's look at lab3.org. And here we go, and it's a it's an org file, you know. So it's an org file, but we have our links. So if I want to open the link to get to here, that that works just like it would, you know, just like it would in the original HTML file over here. If I, well, I guess I didn't click on that link, um, but you'll see here all in beautiful setup, reasonable, easy to manage. Um, now notice we got uh, yeah. So anyway, all of this stuff that you know, begin example, etc perfect for me to work with. Now the nice thing here is I can just edit this and it's really easy to navigate and work, but then what I did is I uploaded it as the readme file for this lab and because up on GitHub it renders org files, boom, I am done. Um, so org file again for the win, really, really cool. Uh, org file Emacs just saved me a ton of work on this lab. Now students can go to this lab when it opens. I actually didn't put the full lab up, just the preliminaries right now. Um, but they can go to this, they can do a git pull to get all the data files and stuff when the lab is run. They can see all the rendered stuff. So really, really cool. Uh, Pandoc, check it out. It'll get you into org mode, get you out of org mode. Awesome. Okay, that's it. Bye.